In the early 1900s, the British mathematician Godfrey Hardy defined scientific beauty as an art form in which outstanding science gives you cerebral chills and intellectual kicks and combines three qualities, significance, generality and unexpectedness. This year's BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in Biology and Biomedicine beautifully resonates with Hardy's criteria. The discovery of Ulrich Hartl and Art Horvich that protein folding into the correct three-dimensional shapes is usually assisted by molecular chaperones was entirely unexpected because at the time of their discovery our thinking was dominated by Nobel Prize winning dogma of Christian Anfinsen posing that the protein's shape is entirely specified in a protein's amino acid sequence. Hence proper protein folding would need no further help. Yet chaperone assisted protein folding proved to be generally true for thousands of protein in all living cells and its dysfunction connects to numerous human diseases significantly. The same holds true for Katsuyoshi Mori's and our work on the unfolded protein response. Nobody expected that proteins are recognized before they assume their final shapes by the dedicated molecular machinery that we discovered. We discovered dedicated unfolding protein sensors that ascertain that enough chaperones can be made to help them fold correctly and efficiently. But the unfolded protein response also evaluates the severity of imbalances instructing the cell to die to avoid harm to the organism if protein quality control cannot be maintained. When we get, began our work on the unfolded protein response, we found ourselves traveling along a road that seemed predictable and straight, but suddenly the ground shifted and we stepped into a morass in which seemingly familiar dots that gave us a sense of security no longer connected. Walking on, Undeterred, we deciphered one of the most unusual cell internal communication pathways. To top it off, the salient features of what we learned from simple single cell brewer's yeast held true for human cells. These features now emerge as impacting players in a plethora of devastating human diseases, including cancer, diabetes, and neurodegeneration giving us hope that our esoteric findings can be translated into tangible benefits for humankind. Biology, however, is not mathematics, nor is it physics, nor chemistry. As biologists, we are not free to impose our own axioms to inject beauty into our work. In our work, nature represents the playing field, and it's our task to decipher the governing rules. Disconcertingly, Nature deploys the strategy of random walk, of mutation and selection, leading to the evolution of the world that surrounds us. Nature then presents us with the most fascinating puzzles to decipher, the inherently unpredictable, unpredictable Rube Goldberg machines that make up a living cell. The point here is that none of our discoveries were predictable. Neither of us would claim to be a genius mathematician akin to Hardy or an artist who begins with an empty canvas and control over the elegance of their work. We are explorers who face the chaotic randomness of evolution. To me, diligently deciphering some of nature's most guarded secrets has been a fascinating, all-consuming journey filled with adventure, cerebral chills and intellectual kicks. Yes, this journey required radical thinking and fearless experimentation, but only in the end did it all combine, serendipitously, into a story of unexpectedness and, we hope, lasting significance. Finally, I wish to thank the Foundation, the Committee and the nominators for bestowing this incredible honor on us. Most importantly, the work that received this recognition was performed by numerous outstanding graduate students and postdocs over the last 30 years. I am deeply indebted to their courage and trust walking along with us our intertwined and meandering paths of discovery. 
and accept this honor on behalf of all members of our teams, past and present. Thank you.